Hello and welcome back to Gunsmith part 22. This is the finished build if you want to see it here in the preset as a reference. Otherwise, you can see it here on the inspect view like I usually do. So this time around, we're actually going to build an M4 from the base model. Previously, I was using the Mechanic Barter on Mechanic 2 here, the Sop Mod one, but the Pro Kills are pretty expensive now. So you can do it that way if they're cheap. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to Peacekeeper and I'm going to use this Barter instead, which is the three CPUs and one CPU fan, which is normally really inexpensive. So let's start with this particular build. This build will actually work with the basic barrels so we could just kind of get on with things which is useful i'm going to remove the charging handle to start with now let's begin by looking at the required components so firstly we need to add a reap ir onto this gun because it's required in the task so what we need to do firstly is we have to add the mount which is the d-lock ird this thing here the sight mount this has to be put on first before you can put on the Reap IR. So we're going to go and have a look at this. Usually it's about 60k. It's a bit more expensive now, but there's a bar to here for four D batteries. Unfortunately, these are also pretty expensive and they're kind of in lockstep. So just do whichever is the cheapest at the time. But right now, it doesn't really make much difference what you do. You're just going to have to pay up for it, unfortunately. So we're going to put that on. And then on top of this, we're going to add the Reap IR itself. This is a very expensive attachment, one of the most expensive in the entire game. There's a bar to here from Skier. I literally just did this one myself, but it's basically a clock, a bunch of skull rings, and a load of roller watches as well so it ends up being like a lot of money but you know what that's fine and then on the back of the reap IR, just don't forget to add this the reap ir cup because this adds back six ergo you wouldn't ever want to use this in an actual raid because usually the cups are just terrible in tarkov but put it on for gunsmith because this will help us the other barter that we're going to need to do is for one of these 60 rounders i did this with the easiest one so if you do it with the p mag you're actually going to have a slightly easier time you'll have more flex on the ergo but i've done it with the mag 60 because it's slightly more accessible at this point and it's just an easier barter so this one is the pcbs and and also the GM count. This is on Peacekeeper 3, so you can get access to the 60 rounder and put this in because this then facilitates what we need to do. From here, we're told we need to do the Mark 10 handguard. So we're going to change the gas block first to the Mark 12 because otherwise we won't be able to put it on. And then instead of the M4 carbine, we're going to go and add this Mark 10 rifle length handguard, the Alexander Arms one. So we're going to put that on. And underneath, we also need the Mark 10 Alexander Arms rail. So stick this guy on. And while we're here, we're just going to use an RVG Black. They're pretty inexpensive. Next on the front, we need to change over the muzzle brake to the QDC attachment. So this QDC 556, the uh, Knight's Armament one. So we're going to put that on. And on top of this, we need to put on the TAN version, or the FDE version of the QDSS. The black one won't work. We're asked specifically for the TAN one in the quest. So make sure you put that one on. Now, in terms of pistol grips, I'm just going to use the Stark AR. It doesn't really matter which one you use between the two, the tan or the black one. So I'm just going to stick the black one on for now because we should have enough ergo to cover this. And then for the stocks, I'm going to replace the whole thing with this, the Viper PDW, because this gives us loads of ergo and we could just about sneak into the recoil threshold. After this, we just need a little boost in ergo, so you can kind of do it however you want. The easiest way that I think to do it is to change over the charging handle to this one here, the GNR, the Grip and Rip from Daniel's Defense. This gives us an extra two ergonomics. So I'm going to put that on. It's pretty inexpensive. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select my weapon, this one here. This is the one we just looked at a second ago. I can't build it because it's exactly the same as the one that I had in my stash. I'm going to go over to the traders and we're going to hand this guy in. Then we're going to get on to the next task. Most of these tasks have 24 hours between them, so don't worry if you don't see the next task straight away. 